On this week's show, we'll take you to Busch Gardens Food and Wine Festival. And then we'll race through New York with Jimmy Fallon at Universal Orlando. Plus the latest theme park news and more coming at you from the attraction studio at Fun Spot right, right now. now. Welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. So we have a couple of new shows that recently debuted on the Attractions YouTube channel. Uh, the first one is going to be every Thursday night. You know, watch us in the morning, then watch Early Night Live on Thursday nights at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a new live show that we're doing since YouTube has rolled out um, being able to live stream. So we're doing this as a new kind of uh, experiment. See how it goes. Seems to be popular so far. Brittany Tuttle hosts it and we may have some um, people that kind of come in and out every week, some guests host. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Last week they were at Hollywood Studios. Who knows what it'll be this week? Yeah, awesome new show. Another new show that we have debuting is called As Dreamers Do. Mm -hmm. And that actually started this week where a group of five UCF students go out and hang out in the parks through the eyes of some young, hip people. So. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, uh, another uh, great vlog to our uh, awesome vlog lineup. You know, we have almost almost a, sh a show each day now. So let's see, we have, um, you can catch Weekly Rewind on Sundays, Daycation Kingdom on Mondays, Photo Finds on Tuesdays, As Dreamer do, Dreamers Do on Wednesdays, Us and the Early, Early Night, Night Live. Live on Thursdays, Attractions Adventures on Fridays, and Florida you taking on Saturday. Look at that. So we are just every day of the shows. week. We are just a TV channel now. Yeah. I love it. I love All it right. too. Let's get to some news. This week's show is brought to you by MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of discount theme park and attractions tickets. Go to UndercoverTourist.com. If you're looking to own a piece of Walt Disney World's newest resort, the time to act is now. The start of sales for Disney Vacation Club's Copper Creek Villas and Cabins at Wilderness Lodge have begun. Inspired by the legendary mining and railroad history of the Pacific Northwest, guests will come home to rustic elegance where cozy touches mix with modern designs. I really like this. Uh, the, the, uh, they were very much remind me of the uh, Polynesian bungalows they have mm -hmm. uh, where they're right there on the lake. And it just, I love camping, I love national parks. The, something I, I really miss doing, uh, you know, I used to live back in Texas and Arkansas, so yeah, this is just, I would love to go. If I, I, if I knew someone in DBC that could <laughs> get a night or something. I know, they're just so cozy and you kind of just feel like you're in your own private little world, so I wish that I was a DVC member as well to be able to take yeah. advantage, but. Wilderness Lodge is my favorite resort to walk around at Walt Disney World, so this is it's definitely, so I can't wait to see how when this is all finished. Mm -hmm. Now, after more than 8,500 performances, La Nuba by Cirque du Soleil at Disney Springs is set to take its final bow on December 31st. After changing and growing the production since 1998 and welcoming over 10 million guests, Cirque du Soleil is ending. No new show has been announced to take the place of La Nuba, but the Disney Parks blog said information about new entertainment would be shared soon. Do you do you, what, do you think they should put in uh, maybe a different Cirque show or some sort of Cirque-like show? What do you th I mean, what do you think should replace it? I think that'd be cool, but I also think that the Cirque show has been there for so many years that they'll probably head in a different direction. I mean, I don't know, but. I'd like to see something different go there in its place. I mean, I, I feel like you know, Disney Springs is so synonymous with with a Cirque production nowadays that <clears throat> excuse me that they would want to bring in maybe something a new Cirque show or create a new one that incorporates mm -hmm. some, some Disney to it. I would like to see that. Yeah, that would be cool too. I, La Nuba mm -hmm. was such a such a great show. Like mm -hmm. you can go see it and go see it five more times and still just be just as amazed. Yeah, because <laughs> you, you don't just look in one place. There's so much going on all mm -hmm. over the stage. You, you may miss something the first time and didn't catch it the second time. Yeah, if you get a chance to see it before it ends, please do. Go do it. Mm -hmm. 
On April 1st, SeaWorld Orlando will launch a new show called Dolphin Days. The new show will replace the Blue Horizon show, which has been running for 11 years. In the new presentation, the audience will learn more about the individual personalities of each Atlantic bottlenose dolphin while witnessing the special bond they share with their trainers. Macaws and other tropical birds will still appear in the show as well. The last day to experience Blue Horizons will be March 31st. I'm sad about this. I, mean, I know SeaWorld's going in a new direction with their... Um, their animal shows, mm -hmm. um, but I love Blue Horizons. It's I know. my favorite show. I'm sad about it too. I love the soundtrack. Blue Horizons yeah. is my favorite show as well. You know, 11 years is a long run, but it's sad to see, you know, the entertainment more aspects of it go, but I understand they want to be more informational and teaching. So. Yeah, so I mean, we'll see. And I would look, maybe they'll have some sort of music um, component to it. It sounds like it'll be more of a, just kind of a trainer hosting it. Mm -hmm. And there's still going to be some fun interactive elements. They're going to bring kids to, to learn how to, to train with a dolphin. So that'll, yeah. that'll be a fun March 31st thing. is soon. Very soon. Didn't give us so, much time to... Yeah. To grieve. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go out to SeaWorld one more time and, and say goodbye. Hi, everybody. Let's return to the Disney Resorts and look for hidden Mickeys. Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa is packed with great hidden Mickeys, like this one. Behind Donald Duck in the children's water play area, at High Rock Spring Pool, a classic Mickey, about six feet tall and tilted to the left, is made of three depressions in the rock wall behind the waterfall. As you face the rock wall, the hidden Mickey is at the left side, and it's easier to see when the waterfall is turned off, but that takes away some of the fun of it, right? Fun Spot America wants to thank you for 19 huge years. Celebrating people, creating fun, and making memories is our promise to you. And in 2017, we're proud to announce the Mind Blower. It's a wooden roller coaster that goes upside down. That's right, a wooden roller coaster going upside down. It's a one of a kind in America. So bring your friends, bring your family, heck, bring your in-laws, because you're gonna have your best day ever. It's time for another festival as the Food and Wine Festival has returned to Bush Gardens in Tampa. I never get tired of these festivals. Oh, no. New and returning favorite foods, fun games, new things to look at, and of course, performances by a variety of artists. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's throw it over to our new reporter, Jesse, in Tampa. Hey, this is Jesse. We're out at Bush Gardens in Tampa for the Food and Wine Festival. I'm smelling something delicious, so let's get out there and try that food. When you come on out, don't forget to pick up your festival guide. Inside, there's a map of all the stations you can go to, as well as checklists. So you know, you can check off all the food you've eaten, boast about it on social media. You're like, yeah, I ate the most food. All right, in front of me, I have bacon mac and cheese and tuna poke. Let's try them out. I like the spiral noodles that this has got going on. It also looks like there's some bacon chunks in it, and then you got a big old piece of bacon. Oh, I dropped the noodle. <laughs> it's so cheesy and bacony. <laughs> I'd hope so, at least. I like a good tuna poke. Mm. That's really great. I like the sauce on top a lot. Ooh, it's spicy.
right, so we're going to be doing four different shots of whiskey. Ding dang. So we've got a 90 proof, which is a smoked maple. Ooh, oh my gosh, you can smell the maple. It smells like bacon. That's smooth. Oh my goodness. We then have a 100 proof, aged for nine years, a Kentucky straight bourbon. Oh yeah, that's bourbon. <laughs> They're all so smooth. Then we have a straight rye whiskey, which is 100 proof. We just keep going up and up and up. Whew. <laughs> and then we have a single barrel reserve, which is aged for nine years and is 120 proof. This is what you want at parties. <laughs> so you only need this much and you'll be like, whoo. Yeah, that's a whiskey. All right, so in front of me are some truffle fries. I love me some truffle oil. And then, um, I don't know if this pairs well with it or not, but we got some um, rosé. Ooh, that's nice. I made some uh, rosé cupcakes the other day because I'm super fancy. Oh my gosh, that's good. That is a nice aioli. It's a garlic aioli. Definitely, you can see the garlic. And um, the truffle, oh my gosh. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. All right, so in front of me, we have a lobster tart, which smells delicious. And yes, I had to break that down because <laughs> that's how good it smells. Ooh. Very lemony. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So after eating some wonderful food in the Food and Wine Festival, guess what's next door? The kangaroos! Let's go pet a kangaroo! These are just a few of the offerings at the Bush Gardens Food and Wine Festival. I highly recommend it. It is running every Saturday and Sunday through the end of April. So go check it out. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Although Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon isn't yet officially open, it has been in technical rehearsals and we've been lucky enough to get a look at all of what's in store. We sent Theron out to give you a preview of the new virtual queue, hashtag the panda, the ragtime gals, and more. It's truly a unique experience. Don't take our word for it. Watch this and decide for yourself. Good morning, we are here at Universal Orlando to check out Race to New York starring Jimmy Fallon. Now it doesn't officially open until April, but we're going to get an early preview today. Let's go check it out. Awesome, let's go in. This looks cool. So this is actually my first time ever in kind of like the opening queue area. And this is really, really cool. You can actually see props and memorabilia from all the different uh, Tonight Show hosts. And it's just like such a gorgeous interior. This is like, doesn't even seem like a ride. 
So you can kind of look around. We've got everyone from Johnny Carson, Jimmy Fallon, of course, over there. Um, we've got Jay Leno, everybody. It's just so stinking cool in here. inside the queue and everyone that they walk in is going to be given a different color of the NBC Peacock logo. Now depending on your color you're going to have different uh, changes up in the lights here and then the logos up on the wall and so you get to look around, wait, explore and then you get brought into the next room or again you're going to wait for your color but there's always something fun to check out and fun to do while you're waiting. This place is crazy. And look at this, we've got hashtag the panda. What's up? You okay there? You good? You no? Know? No? Oh geez. Okay, so again, since this is like the preview, this is my first time ever being in this building. And if you look around, this is a, an amazing queue. This is like almost weird how well the, the job they did. So over here, we've actually got these like interactive screens. We've got games over here. You can see some of the videos. Check out these thank you notes. Uh, let's do universals. And Florida weather. Thank you, Florida, for alternating between drenching you with rain and drenching you with sweat. Very accurate, very accurate. So one of the really cool parts about waiting here, even though it's not really a queue, it's kind of like a sit down lounge area, you're able to charge your phone directly with one of these USB ports or plugs here. And you don't have to immediately leave this when your color gets called. You can sit here, hang out, play the games, do whatever you'd like for as long as you'd want. Perfect, so here on the second floor you can meet Hashtag the Panda, play some awesome games, and then see some performances from the Ragtime Gals. Now we're about to go ahead inside to check out this attraction. Cameras are not allowed, so I'll check you back after. Ah, oh, so close. Boing! Hi, pants! How does it all the laugh? So good, so fun! Listen to my voice in the tube! Whoa, 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 whoa. First place is awesome! So we're here and I just got to experience the attraction for my first time. I just got to say, I mean, great job to you and your entire team. I mean, the queue, the outside, everything is just so intricate. So when it comes to like looking for the Tonight Show and everything, um, I know it's not just about Jimmy Fallon. Can you explain some about that? Absolutely. You know, at Universal Parks and Resorts, we try to bring classic pop cultural properties to life. And the Tonight Show is certainly that. It's a pop cultural institution. So by design, we pay tribute to that history, the hosts that have come before Jimmy. So the Tonight Show is one of the stars of the show. New York is one of the stars of the show. But of course, Jimmy Fallon is our headliner. But those three elements are integral to this overall experience for people. Absolutely, and I know Jimmy Fallon, he's so like big on screen, he's so excited all the time. How was it working with him for this attraction? Jimmy Fallon is a classic case of what you see is what you get. If you've watched The Tonight Show, if you've seen him in interviews, that is exactly what he's like in a meeting, in a creative session. He's just incredibly passionate. He loves theme parks, he loves rides and attractions, and that was really his goal from the very beginning, to create something that allows guests to experience the city that he loves, New York, in just a fun and, and crazy way. That's perfect. So during the ride, is there any like hidden Easter eggs we should be able to look for, uh, either mid-ride or in the queue or anything like that? 
Well, there are all sorts of Easter eggs in the in the Tonight Show uh, display area downstairs. In the ride itself, if you keep your eyes peeled, you'll definitely see Jimmy's wife and his two gorgeous little girls. They make a special appearance. And then toward the end of the ride film, you'll see uh, the two writers who, who actually wrote the script for us from Jimmy's staff, Gerard Bradford and Mike DeCenzo, who's better known as uh, Mets Bucket Hat Guy. They all make little cameos, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Hashtag puts in an appearance, but he's a little bit more obvious. You can't. Yeah, yeah, he was a little bit more obvious. I did definitely notice him and you're able to like interact with him in the queue as well I loved how you could go and see like the ragtime gals and everyone um, for for that queue like what was your idea with that we wanted to bring the entirety of the Tonight Show experience to life for guests and that goes beyond the ride itself so you see it here we wanted to recreate 30 Rock and all of its Art Deco glory it also serves as the front door to the New York section of our back lot and you could not ask for a better opening act than that yeah. and then once guests get inside we wanted to bring all of the fun and positive energy of The Tonight Show to life. And we do that uh, by obviously eliminating the line. Mm -hmm. That gives guests time to further immerse themselves in the experience, in the story, so they can see the ragtime gals performing the history of rap or the history of boy bands, uh, doing a, a medley of completely inappropriate songs <laughs> in the rag uh, in the ra barbershop style, uh, or uh, lip sync battle or classroom instruments. We do it all, because we really wanted to bring all of the various elements of The Tonight Show to life, and of course they can meet and greet with hashtag the dancing panda. One cool element is even though this did replace the Twister ride, they did keep some elements of it here. You can see the blue denim jacket worn by Bill Paxton. Now here outside of the attraction you have some test seats. You can kind of know exactly what you're going to get into before you do go inside the building. Now it's a theater style, so there's going to be a big simulator with a like massive IMAX screen in front of you, which really envelops you in the whole New York like scene all in 3D. Now during the attraction I only uh, really smelled pizza. I don't know if perhaps there's other smells during the attraction. I just missed it. Certainly be able to ride again and be able to test that and see more of like all the Easter eggs hidden throughout. I know I had a really great time. If you're a fan of The Tonight Show, you've definitely got to come check this out. It's going to be opening April 6th, so make sure to go and see it. Race Through New York with Jimmy Fallon attraction isn't officially open yet. It's been in soft opening, also known as technical rehearsals. This usually isn't something the parks will officially announce, but this time is an exception. Universal announced on their blog that the pre-openings had begun. It's a good idea to check online to see if an attraction is open ahead of its official dates. Not all new attractions have had soft openings, but most have as they do need to get the bugs out before the official opening. Also keep in mind that the nature of soft openings is that they can close at any time. Even if the parks themselves don't announce the soft opening, we will. So stay tuned to our social media channels. Have you downloaded our free Attractions Magazine app? It features news articles, as well as every issue of our magazine, available right in the app. Plus, catch up on all episodes of the show, and even view all of our online videos in one place. Download the app for free in the App Store today. This week's birthday shout outs go out to Maria Wyatt Uhl, Kurt Nelson, Allison Lundell, and our early night live reporter, Brittany Tuttle. And congratulations to Gretchen Ortiz from Brandon, Florida. She won our One Up Box contest from last week. And now we want to thank MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for cruises, Disney, Universal, and all your other vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. And thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit UndercoverTourist.com. And thanks to Fun Spot America, Central Florida's only family-owned theme park. They provide safe, clean fun in Orlando and Kissimmee. Visit Fun-Spot.com for tickets. Please visit AttractionsMagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, and Instagram. If you enjoy our show, please support it by subscribing to our magazine through our website, in our app, or on the Nook or Kindle. All right, so we got um, something really cool coming up uh, for next week's episode. Mm -hmm. um, there's a new attraction that's going to be op opening up uh, off of Universal Boulevard near where Orange County Convention Center is. It's called Top Golf Crush. And uh, what it is, it's a multi story building that you it's basically like a, a, a big driving range for golfers. Mm -hmm. So uh, as someone, who, I haven't played golf since I lived in Texas, but I would love to be able to do this. And um, 
and going to do this again, but there's going to be a preview at Camping World Stadium this week, and we're going to have a host out there. And yeah, I mean, I'm definitely not a golfer, but it does sound neat. They're going to have, you know, music and food and DJ. So even if you don't golf, it's still fun. Yeah. Plus, they kind of make it like a competition where, you know, you can you drive the ball and you can test, like, how far it goes so you can, you know. And there's going to be, like, giant targets yeah. that you can try to hit, and they have some sort of, like, sensor technology that can track where your ball, how far your ball's going, so they can tell you exactly how many points you're going to get. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be, not only can you practice your golf swing, but you can have a little fun and a little competition in it as yeah, well. Yeah, and how cool to be able to go, you know, on the, the floor of Camping World Stadium to, to do something right? like that. Right, like stand <laughs> up in the, st in, the, uh, in the stadium seating and then hit a golf ball into the field. Yeah, uh, it's like pretty I'd, cool. I'd, I'd want to try and get it out of the stadium on the other side. <laughs> Home run! Like, like what's what's uh, what's the combination you need to, to, to like hit the giant grand slam in the video game? Like Happy Gilmore? Yeah. Oh yeah, just a running start. And <laughs> watch a fire streak across right. the sky. We'll see. We'll see if you're that good. I'll try. I'll try to hit. I'll, I'll try to see if I can make it to the Amway Arena. Yeah. <laughs> good goal. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions. Try something new. Stay safe. But most of all, have, have fun. fun. now you're good perfect <laughs> through the end of april so get out here and try it and there's a moving bush behind over there <laughs> all right <laughs> so if you're wondering what i've been looking at it's like it's just a moving bush <laughs>